Hello, hello. We are looking at homework 12, 319 for December 3rd. Uh, prime factorization and exponents. So I'm going to walk through a couple of these just to remind you exactly what they mean. So, 4 to the power of 3. We're looking at exponents right now. And if you remember correctly, I told you exponents means repeated multiplication. Now, the base tells us what we're going to be multiplying. So our base is 4. And our exponent... 3 tells us how many times we're going to multiply 4. So I need to multiply 4 3 times. So 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. So standard form is just your answer. Please make sure you're doing all of your work. Now, I am a math teacher. I can do this in my head. You probably need to come over here. 16 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. Hold the 2. 4 times 1 is 4, 5, 6. And actually show your work. Okay. Prime factorization. Now, here's something that we forget. <sighs> Remember, you should have written down your prime numbers that we typically use. 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. Now, of course, there are more prime numbers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, uh, 13, 17, 23, those kind of numbers. But if you can divide a number by something other than 1 and itself, that means it's not prime. We need something that can be divided by 1 and itself. So, I want to look here at 135. If we've got 135, and remember, these little lines mean you're dividing upside down. Now, if I'm looking at this, I want to find the easiest prime number I can divide by. So, to me, I would say the easiest thing to divide by is 5. 135 divided by 5. Now, 135 divided by 5. 5 goes into 13 twice, minus 10. Left with 3 written down the 5. 5 goes into 35 seven times. So that means 135 divided by 5 is 27. Okay, looking at 27, I can't divide by 5. I can't divide by 2, but I know that I can divide it by 3. 23, or not 23, 27 divided by 3 is 9. I can divide 9 by 3, which is 3. Hey look, I ended on a prime number. So the answer or how to prime factor 135 is 5 times 3 times 3 times 3. Or if you're going to write it in exponential form, 5 times 3, 1, 2, 3 to the power of 3. All right. Take your time. Remember, check what you think you could divide by easily and keep dividing until you can't divide any further. Now, we don't end on 1. 1 is not a prime number, so make sure that when I get to this 3, I'm not going to divide it by 3 again to get to 1. That doesn't work. Once I get to a prime number, if I can't divide it by something and get a different number here that is not 1, I'm done. And it's not one answer. It's all of this. Be careful in your work. Make sure your name's on it. All right, guys, see you tomorrow.